folks, it's Mike again. Do you have an office chair that gives you a sinking feeling? Like this chair. The longer I sit in this one, the more it sinks. Pretty soon, I feel like I'm sitting on the floor. Then I have to readjust it and we start all over again. Well, don't get rid of your chair. Uh, there's a simple, easy way to fix it for less than five bucks, and you don't even have to take the chair apart to do it. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to ring that bell. So let's go ahead and quickly look at the tools and supplies we're going to need to accomplish the job. We're going to use an adjustable radiator clamp or hose clamp. You'll notice this has a hex head assembly here with a worm gear drive. There's all these slots around the side, so that's how you can identify them in the parts store. I bought this at the automotive parts store, and they're available online also. You can use, you can use a flat-bladed screwdriver on it. The bigger, the better. Uh, also, I found it easier to actually use this nut driver. The nut driver is very fast, much faster than using the screwdriver, and it doesn't slip off as bad. But neither one of these methods gets it quite tight enough. So... I finished up with a socket wrench with a 5 16th inch socket on the end. So before we can use the clamp, we'll need to open it up all the way till it separates, like so. That way this will open up and slip around the column on your chair. Now, you'll notice inside of mine there was a sleeve. And these are designed to give extra holding power on rubber hoses. Remember, we're doing a chair. And it, so as an experiment, I thought I would try it. Hey, it was a dismal failure. <laughs> it would not hold, and I ended up tightening my clamp so much that it's, it actually uh, cratered the clamp, so and I can't use it now. So just throw this away. Don't even try it. <laughs> so the next thing we needed to discover, and this is the $64 question, what size radiator hose do we need? These come in a number of different sizes. So in a minute, I'll show you how we measure for that. So sit in your chair and adjust it to the height you think is perfect, okay? When you get it there, you want to set it on top of a work surface of some kind. Just don't readjust it. Now my chair has this telescoping assembly here, so you've got to make sure that drops all the way down. Your chair may or may not have this assembly. You see, it, it, it looks nice, but... Its only function is just appearance. So here's the shaft or the column. So what we have to do is determine how big this is. Now if you're fortunate enough, you may have a set of calipers like this. And you can simply put those on here, tighten them up, and look, there it is. Which is telling me about a one and one eighth of an inch. Now the other thing you can do is just take your measuring tape and hold it up there next to it. Now this is an approximate figure, but if you watch, look at the package that this, the uh, radiator clamps come in, they give you a range here. Like this one says 1 and 1 8 inch to 1 and 9 16 or 29 millimeter to 40 millimeter if you're of the metric persuasion. So these will be perfect for this column. First clean the column with some household cleaner to remove any oil or dirt residue. Sometimes it's a little difficult to reconnect the two ends of the clamp, but stick with it. You will get it done. Use your screwdriver or nut driver and run the screw in, but leave it slightly loose. Then you can butt it up under the piston assembly as shown. Now get it tight and finish up with your socket wrench. And I don't want to go too tight. I don't want to strip it out. I'm going to add a second clamp now. Just for extra holding power. Of course, you want to repeat the same procedure now that you used to install the first clamp. When you get close, move the clamp so that the two nut assemblies are not touching each other. They can conflict. Make sure the second clamp is butted up tightly against the first. Now snug it all up and use your ratchet and get it good and tight. That'll work. Well, let's try it out. Ah, oh, yeah. It's good and solid. Now, hear that pop? When I sit in my chair, my weight carries that chair down, right down to the level of those radiator clamps. And then it just stops cold. 
and that's what you want. Now, one thing I might mention here is that when you do this repair, your chair is no longer adjustable. I mean, this is a one-size-fits-all thing, so if you've got a number of people using this chair, you may want to pick some sort of average setting that everyone can live with. Now, if you followed the procedure and used the two clamps and everything, and you're still getting slippage, uh, there is another procedure I might recommend, and that, that is that you take off the clamps, reset the chair, and clean the column, make sure there's no oil or grease on it, uh, and wrap it in a spiral fashion with electrician's tape. Reinstall your clamps, tighten them good, and that should work. Well, guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful, and I hope you saved your chair. Uh, if you've got any questions or any suggestions, be sure to send me a comment. I'd like to hear how your project turned out anyway. So also be sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell. And until next time, folks, thanks for watching.